Before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment banner down below, man. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, you're going to be entered into our weekly sweepstakes to win $50. That's $50 in VC, $50 in cash out, or $50 um, toward a video game. I'll buy you a copy of whatever video game you want. This week it could be Call of Duty or whatever you want, the extra regular ass edition. If you win the sweepstakes, I picked from the comments, so you got to like the video and comment banner down below. Also, you're going to be at every single month, at the end of the month, we try to give away a next gen console or a laptop or $500, whichever one you know that, that you need the most, man. Listen, to get involved in that, all you got to do, once again, like the video and comment banner down below. That's all you got to do for that. And uh, like I said, if we can average 8K views this month, we averaged 8.5 last month. This month we want to try to average 8K because we didn't quite reach the 10K, but I want to make this be obtainable for y'all. If we already average 8.5, then averaging 8 should be no problem. Like the video, comment banner down below. And uh, third, I mean, you'll be entered into that. And third, last but not least, all I got is Instagram, Twitter, and Black Planet. I do not got Telegram. I do not have uh, my phone number down there. Don't begin with 888 or whatever they be putting down there. Listen, my phone number is not down there. So don't listen to the bots. And without further ado, listen, man. I just want to go through this real quick, and we're just going to get right into it. The boy Big Dog Banner put out one of the most excellent videos I've ever seen as far as teaching people how to play defense. This is the proof of concept. I ain't, gonna, I ain't had a chance to get in touch with him yet. I'm trying to get him in here to get a, you know, give out some more defensive tips and tricks and all that good stuff as far as, you know, being, you know, a, honor, a, a professor at Lockdown University. He probably should be the, uh, be the admin or whatever because he's above me. But, hey, I created Lockdown University, so, you know, it is what it is. You want one of these Lockdown University tees, link down in the description, Breeze Tees, hit that up and holler at that, man. But anyway... The first lesson that he was teaching today, and it's one of those things where I always listen to everything that somebody says. I, 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 whether I think somebody's better than me or not, I'm all, and I do think he's better than me, don't get me wrong. I always listen to what they say because if you listen to what they say, uh, you know, you can see it, you can test it out, you can see if it's valid or not, and you know, you can, you can just put it to use. And if it works, it works. If only part of it works, you still didn't fail because you can take that, take the best of what they said and all of that. So I'm breaking down the video piece by piece. Y'all need to go over there, watch that video because if you, I'm going to choose somebody from his video this month to win $50. I mean, this week, this Friday, somebody going to win $50. Whoever commented on his video, I'm going to go through there, choose a random commenter, and then, you know, they're going to win $50. So, you know, it is what it is, man. But I want y'all to go over there and watch that video because it's an excellent video. Now, without further ado, what we're going to do today is concentrate on the middle of the floor, denying, deny, deny the middle of the floor. This is one of the things he said you have to do in, in if you want to try to be a good 94-foot lock. And y'all already see, we're going to just go straight up, straight up right here. Guys coming, look at him. I'm denying in the middle of the floor. And, and I'm going to break it down in a second, and y'all going to see what happens right here. Boom, we get a steal. I'm going to show y'all why we end up getting this steal, man. And I'm going to show you this thing from, from end to end. First off, backing it up right here. Bam. You already see that he wants, you, you can already see that he wants to go here to the middle of the floor, right? Now, the only way he going to get to the middle of the floor is if he beats me here or if he tries to go here and come up. If he tries to go, if he tries to do this right here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just, all I'm going to do is just deny that and then I'm going to keep pushing him this way right here. So he's not going to be able to get to the middle of the floor. But as it stands, I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to continue to give ground in this direction right here. I'm going to keep, I'm going to, I'm going to continue to give ground here. So he's not going to be able to get there. The only thing that's going to be available to him is he's going to have to go up that sideline. And him going up that sideline, it's, it's, it's not going to be something that he wants because he him going up the sideline, I got the sideline as my defender, as always. And all he can do is go up there. He's going to run up into the back of his man. And look at how many defenders I got up here. I got one, two, three, four defenders out there just kind of waiting on him. So as we go down court, you see, you see he tries to make a little, little shimmy move to get there. Now, and you see that I gave ground, right? I gave ground there because I'm straight trying to deny this. Now, the fact that he's all the way over there, what is he gonna do? He's not gonna run out of bounds because that's, that's my friend right there. 
Now he has to get here. This is where he wants to get, but if you want to get to the middle of the floor, he's gonna do that. Banner was telling y'all, play the angles. I know he want to get to the middle of the floor, so I don't have to be as fast as him. So all I'm gonna do is take this straight angle and I'm gonna meet him here. And guess what he's gonna do? He's gonna run straight down there and he comes right back to me because he wants the middle of this floor so bad that he don't know what to do if I if I straight up deny. And a lot of this is gonna work on everybody that y'all play in the wreck because let's be honest, we all just play bombs in the wreck. It ain't no elite players in there at, all the time. Most of the time you're gonna be playing bombs. Now, I mean, cause y'all always say y'all play with bombs, so you're gonna be playing against bombs anyway or somebody that's not really that good at the game. You're not gonna be playing against um, you know, you're not gonna be playing against Banner in the wreck. You're not gonna be playing against a whole lot of people that's really elite at the game. Most of the time you're gonna be playing against people, like you said, that just do one or two moves and that's all they know how to do. So look, he comes he comes here, he wants the middle of the floor so bad. Now look, right, right here yet again, I'm denying this right here. He can have all this right here because look, I got, right here I got, I got uh, my corner guy. I got Brute right here looking at him. And then this is me, this is me on the outside, straight to nine, this outside right here. But yet again, he goes, he gonna try to get to the middle of the floor and try to make something happen. I'm still the nine, the nine, the nine. Now, you might be saying, well, he's in the middle of the floor now. Yeah, but he can't do anything. Look, look what he got, look what he can't do. I got a guy right, that's this guy right here. That's this guy right here. And my red, the red mark right here, you see that, that's in the middle. That means that he cannot drive this way. He's gonna have to try to beat me around the corner, but any way he try to beat me, he can't do it because there's somebody in the way. So here we go. Now, I've pushed him across the middle of the floor. Now he doesn't have anything to do. He don't know what he do. He done picked up his dribble. All he knows is I want to get this ball back to the middle of the floor. So look what he tries to do. He's gonna try to pass it to the middle of the floor. Brute head is right here. And he's just gonna intercept the ball and he's gonna take that thing right there, tip it, tip it to me, tip it to him. I kick it ahead, and uh, you know he gets on that rim. Next play, this is just this is just classic off ball right here. This dude wants to get he he want he he don't even know what to do. I'm denying the middle of the floor so badly to him. He don't even know what to do as as a backup. Even when he's off ball, I'm doing it right here. It, it, it works on ball. It works off ball. Look at what happens. The rebound comes. What do I do? The first thing I do, most people gonna run straight to the guy right here or they gonna think he's gonna go baseline or something like that. I'm not worried about him going baseline. This dude ain't faded all game. So what I do, I'm gonna come straight right here and deny that right there. Now, everybody else, they need to get to their spot because the guy in the paint, you know, he probably gonna go there or something like that and everybody else is there. But watch as I straight up deny, I'm gonna straight up deny it right here. He don't know what to do. now. Now he's looking like, bro, I really want to get there. Look at, look at his head. Look where his head is. He want to go there so bad that he don't know, but I'm straight up denying it. I'm denying all of this right here. You can't come in here right here. This is where I am. Now, if you catch the ball and you go here, you're, hey, I don't care. And if you try to go here and try to fade, his is going to come out the corner and you dead right there anyway. So look, he trying to, he tried to do it so bad. He don't even know what to do. His head, his, his head is out of the game and then they throw the ball straight to me. Let me get that. I get it to my guard. I just go ahead and get that ball out my hand out the floor and, and boom, there we, there we go with that. Super easy. Same thing right here. This is a different guy right here. Look, he want to get to the middle of the floor so bad, he don't even know what to do right there. Look at look at what happens right there. That That's just poetry in motion right there, bro. Look, as he said, it works on different point guards, different everything. Right here, he comes up the court, this guy even tried to set a screen. Look at me right here. I'm taking away all of this real estate. You're either going to have to go here or you're going to have to go here. But either way, you're not coming down. You're not coming straight down the middle of the floor right there. So I'm denying, denying, denying. Look at him. He tried to look. This the, he tried to get slick with it. I'm going to cross over. Bro, If even if he crosses over, this is what you got to realize. He crosses over. I'm standing in the middle of the floor. He can't get there. So look, he gonna try to run around me. Now, now, now we like, you know what we saying? Got it. We got it. <laughs> we got him right here, man. Look, I'm, a, I'm, I'm attacking this shoulder and I'm, a, I'm just not, he's not gonna be able to get there. He gonna have to go here or he gonna have to, if you try to go there, he gonna go straight to Brute anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So let's see what he did. So now he tried to cross back over. Now, he tried to cross back over. 
it, it's still the same thing. Got it. <laughs> we got him. We really got him now because we got my boy Brute right here. Look, look at everybody's head right here. You got, you got Gambit looking straight at him. You got Brute playing the playing the bait. Hezzy super baiting. He, you, he, you think he's here, but he's really gonna go back to here uh, if he tries to make that pass. And then if you got you, if you got one of these guys right here like Birch that can play here and play here. He really, he Burst is really gonna play this in this middle, and he'll take first pass if anything happens. But none of that, none of that matters because look, look what I just did. I know he's going. I know he got to go straight here to brute. There's nothing else that he can do. So I literally sit down. Look at my dude. He literally sitting down, waiting for him to come back. And look what he does. Inevitably, he tries to make another move. Boom! I'm right there, still denying the middle of the floor. He thought he thinks he's got me with the left stick crossover, but look who's look 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 at this dude right here. Look look who's looking at it. Brute looking at you right there. So look, as soon as he tries to go, Brute, look, Brute picks him up. He tried to pass the ball. Bam. We get that. Now look, he goes back. I already know what he's gonna try to do, so I get him squared up. And right there, you see, you see what happens. I get him squared up. Instead of passing the ball or calling a timeout, which is what he should have done. He actually tried to dribble it. I'm right here on this hand. You see my hand right here? Watch how many times I'm about to reach. Watch how many times I'm gonna reach. Boop, one time, let me get that. Get the ball to my guard, and my guard gets on that rim. Oh, rim, rim, on that rim for me. Same thing right here, man. Look, it's the same thing. These dudes, when you start denying that thing like that, like, look, and this is just me doing it. I only, look. I watched the video, I got so hyped. I said, I'm about to go out there and play some goddamn defense right now. Better have me that crump. I want to go out here and try this and see if he's telling a lie or not. He wasn't lying. It works. It works beautifully, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Because like I said, most of these guys, they don't have a clue what they're doing at point guard. They really don't be want to play point guard a lot of the times. Like I said, you, this is not an elite level. Don't, don't get that wrong. But most of us don't play at an elite level like he does. He probably can take the ball every single time from these guys right here. And he can probably tell you in the video, if we go back and recap, he'll say, I would have took that right there. I would have took that right there. I'd have been took that. He wouldn't even got a chance to dribble that on me. I'm not that advanced yet. So I'm letting y'all know. Bomb the bomb. This, this actually works. So look, boom. Same thing right here. He's coming up. The, he coming up the middle of the court. I'm already standing right here again. I'm denying every single bit of this. If you want to go somewhere, this time you're gonna have to go up there. A lot of times, the beauty of this is these dudes are so conceited and they so full of themselves that when you get him that, he's gonna make this crossover unnecessarily and think he beat you. Best case scenario in a lot of these situations, guess what he gonna do? He gonna run straight down here and think he got an easy layup. And guess what? Gambit is ready to come across there. Gambit literally is sitting there watching him. You see him back there in the background watching him and he ready to come across there and be like, Shit out of here, nigga. that's what he ready to do, bro. So it just is what it is. But a lot of people, they so conceited and so full of themselves, they have no clue. So look, boom, right here. He's running, running, running. I don't gotta be fast. Just like Banner say, you don't gotta be fast. He's gonna do this right here. He gonna try to come back to the middle of the floor. But guess where I am? I'm already right here. I'm already right here to the middle of the floor. So right now he has two choices. He could go, he could go straight here, and there's no the corner's empty, so so he gotta go in the hezzy zone, or he can go straight here and he can go to Gambit. But guess what he's not gonna do? He's not gonna get any of this right here, and he already knows it. So look, coming down the court. Here I am. Look, I'm still playing outside shoulder. Get squared up with him. Look what I do. Look, you try to make a move. I'm already there. I'm already cutting this off right here. So if he wants to do something, he's gonna have to take the long way around. But before he can even take the long way around, guess what? I'm sitting there, let me get that. I already anticipated the crossover. Perfect distance right here. Reach one time. He gonna try to cross over, hand already there. Get that ball from him. Get it out to my guard. We get down court, and uh, I don't know. I don't know what we did right here. I don't know if we blew it or not. Gammy blew it. Gammy, what are you doing? It is what it is, man. But anyway, we come back down there, and yet again, we straight up denied the middle of the floor. He couldn't do. <laughs> he couldn't do that. I don't even know why I left that part in. But I, I know that we didn't score on that, man. It is what it is. Same, same thing right here, bro. 
it's, it's, it's literally the same thing at this point in time he's already flushed frustrated and flabbergasted and Brute is doing literally the exact same thing. This is one of the people that have been telling me this for years too, Brute. But he's just saying, just take away one side, deny one side. If you can't take away the middle of the floor, at least start off by taking away one side. And you'll be you'll be good. Look at what Brute's doing. He's doing the exact same thing. He's taking away one side. He's gonna, he'll even play behind him. Now, if Brute had a higher steal, what he would do, he would get all the way behind him. And then he'll just take that ball right there. But he don't have a high steal on this character. So he can't do that. But look what happens. Look, the dude don't know what to do to the point where he, he gonna try to cross him over. Now he know he can't cross him over. Why? Why can't, why can't he cross him over? Brute standing right here. So he can't go there and he doesn't want to go here. So now he gonna try to pass the ball. Boom. He tries to pass. It makes a terrible pass right there. Now look, a lot of people think I just be spamming. I'm not just spamming. I'm going to literally wait until this guy is about to make contact with Hezzy. Hezzy got his hands up. Wait, 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 look. I didn't just run over there and just reach. I like cause I cause if I'm reaching, I'm gonna reach right here and I'm gonna get the foul, right? Because but this is too this is too much space. So what I did, I wait until the ball comes back. Wait until and then he tries to dribble into me. That's what you gotta see. Look at him, he tried to dribble into me. And this is where I reach. I'm like, got it. We fing got it. Hey, hit that little reach right there, boom. And and, I'm, and and look at what I was doing with him also, look. It ain't just with them guys. I'm denying him the middle of the floor too. Same thing with Banner say, force him one direction. If you wanna go somewhere, you gonna go to Hezzy. Deny, deny them, If like I said, if you're not good enough to deny, we get the ball to the guard, we get on the rim. The, the moral of the story is, Banner, all the stuff that Banner telling y'all in the video is the secret sauce. He telling y'all all of this, but he telling y'all better than I can tell y'all more in depth. Like I said, I told y'all I was gonna get on the board today and get with this market and get busy. But like I said, bro, like if, if you can't deny the middle of the floor, at least deny one side. But it's just so much easier to deny the middle of the floor because a lot of people, that's what they want to do. If they can't operate in the middle of the floor, most of the time, let me tell y'all two, two things that's going to happen. If you deny the middle of the floor, he's going to be uncomfortable, number one. And number two, you're already won a big part of the battle because you're sending him to, you're going to send him to somebody that's either on the hash or you're going to, you'll send him somewhere else. So you're going to send him to a pinch. So if he drives with you in the park, you're sending him to the pinch because you got to bow it out wide. And then if you're in the if you're in the wreck, you know you're gonna send him to a hash and he gonna he's not gonna be comfortable. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Go try this out. Go watch Banner's video. Like I said, I'm gonna choose somebody from his video this Friday, and we're gonna be and we're gonna give away uh 50 bucks to somebody that commented on that video, man. We gotta show support in the community. That guy put out an awesome video. I want y'all to go over there and check it out. It helped me out, and uh, I just want to help him out, man. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Like I said, make sure y'all like the video, comment, battle down below, and we can holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.